Party we are night, doing something we have never done before. And to make it even sweeter, we are giving you the best of the best. When you think about the best steak around, it doesn't get any better than filet mignon. Until you get filet mignon with the bone in it to ensure all of that flavor, all of that great texture. What we've done is taking it up a notch. Instead of giving you a tiny, tiny filet, which so many times in the grocery store, your local butcher, even at that restaurant, you have the option. Take a look at this steak. It is 14 seriously big, juicy ounces that you can bring home in a four count for four, or excuse me, four easy payments of 30 or less than $20. If you want an eight count, you can bring it home for $21.37. Think about Father's Day. Think about if you've got something to celebrate. You've got people coming over. Wouldn't you love to spoil them with the decadence of filet? We've already had more than 100 spoken for. If you want that four count, we have fewer than I believe 400 to go around. If you want that eight count, we have fewer than 600 to go around and that's gonna be it for one day only at yes. this amazing value. So why is filet mignon the best of the best? Well, you know what? It's it's probably one of the most flavorful and definitely the most tender part of the cow. And yeah. you know what? There's only one per, and that's what makes it the most expensive. But, you know, just so you know where this comes from, too, a lot of us have heard of T-bones yeah. and ribeye, or T-bones and porterhouse steaks. The difference between a T-bone and a porterhouse is the amount of filet mignon that is in between the bone and the strip steak. Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually, where's the bone? A lot of people didn't even know there was a bone attached to no the clue. filet mignon. Never seen one. And there is. And you know, steaks with the bone, if you're gonna go to really the highest end steakhouse, mm -hmm. generally speaking, they're gonna have a bone attached to most of their steaks. And the reason being, it's not to pump up the weight, it's because it adds so much flavor. It really does. Cooking something on the bone versus off of the bone, it, it gives an entirely different richness to the steak. And I'll tell you, when you try this for the first time, now try this, and I know you've tried our filet mignons, and they're great. Oh, yes. They're really great. Definitely Thank one of the best you. filets. But the difference is, when you try this, it's got that texture, it's got the flavor, and just, you know, the bone gives off so much flavor. That is mouth-wateringly tickling my palate. Good. Everything that you love about filet, the tinder, the juice, the different taste and the texture is present in this. And one thing that I appreciate so much about Kansas City, you guys are in some of the biggest restaurants in the country. Yes, we are. Quality of beef, unsurpassed from anybody else. You could not go out right now and get four filet mignon dinners for $99. You just couldn't do it. Not of this quality or caliber. You'd probably pay $99 almost for this one steak. I don't doubt it. In the quality it. of the restaurant. And take a look, guys. You can just see, look how big this is. Remember, 14 ounces. There's the bone you can see right there that's giving off all that great flavor and then all that great filet. And this is a huge, thick steak. Watch when I cut into this. You're gonna literally see, this is about an inch and a half thick. Look, oh, just beautifully my perfect. Lord. And we were talking about this while we were presenting this. Now, this is what I really <gasps> recommend. Use a meat thermometer. Now, this isn't one of those skinny steaks where you're just gonna kind of flip it on the grill for two minutes on each side. This is one you're gonna kind of grill on either side, move it to your upper rack of your grill, and let it kind of finish on there or in your oven, whichever you want, want to do, which is ever easy. But this is really something special. So, yeah. if you, look, you know, if you love to grill, uh -huh. you love, and I hate to say, you know, a special occasion, because I love to grill and I love to pamper myself and my family, yeah. and I just love great quality food. And I'm willing to, you know, I pay for the best stuff, and that's what this is. So when you're grilling, Put the best on your grill, so if you're entertaining and wanted, or maybe yeah. you want a gift, and here's how it's coming here. Courtney, Father's too. Day. <gasps> here's Look what you get. Gorgeous presentation. This is the four pack. Okay, of course you're gonna double this. If you're getting the eight, but each one of the steaks individually packed. And just look at this. We even use a special packaging since it has a bone in there that it won't pierce it. Uh, yeah. The packaging, so it's gonna stay nice and fresh. Of course, you get the grilling guide and you get the steak in prime rib seasoning. So and here's then, the deal. Oh. oh. Take a look at this. Just, have you ever seen a interrupt. filet mignon this big in your life? Usually you see, okay, there's the bone right there, but that's the quality. Remember that Western Kansas corn-fed beef here for, at QVC for over 21 years, selling to the market and the restaurants for over 80 years. Great marbling that's going to lend that great flavor than the bone. Truth be known, when I think about a filet mignon, I think a little bit about petite. It's all yeah. about the decadence. It's small. It can't be very big, so enjoy it while you last. This is a big, We're going man -sized. thick, juicy man size steak. And I'm sorry, I love my dad so much, but I have to call two months ahead of time to get reservations for Father's Day. And then when we finally get there, it's crowded. It's not intimate. I don't feel like we get to tell the fun stories. If you pick up the eight pack, you can bring this home, have that family size Father's Day dinner. Everyone gets the treat, the decadence of the filet mignon, or you can pick up that four pack. That eight pack though, 
going very quickly. Sure, it's, an, it, it's a little bit more of an investment, but when you think about the quality of the meat, how thick and juicy these fillets are, they are 14 Ounce. ounces. I bet you would not be able to call your local butcher right now and say, could you please give me eight 14 ounce filet mignons? Right. You'd be crazy. They'd be thinking we'd be lucky if we got one that that was this size. That's why we count on this guy to bring us these special treats from Kansas City Steaks. In fact, let's go off to the phone and say okay. hello to Jan in Arizona. Hi, Jan. Hey, I'm Jan. Courtney and this is Greg. How are you? Hi. How's it going? What do you think? Fantastic. I'm looking at these and I am drooling. Me uh, too. <laughs> it's hard not to, right? I mean, these are absolutely incredible, thick filet mignons like you've never seen. Well, all of yours are, though. I mean, I, I've got everything. I've got your prime rib roasts. I got your bacon wrapped filets. I got the medallions. And these look like, oh, wow, because my husband really loves a steak with a bone, too. So mm -hmm. this is going to be like super, super happy it's going to make him. I mean, this is, you know. Uh, and that's like awesome. Say, your, your meat is just so fantastic. Well, Jan, I, let know, me let me ask you because you're out in Arizona. You're talking about prime ribs. You're talking about you know the ribeye steaks that you've seen from Kansas City. What keeps you coming back to yeah. Kansas City when you could go to the grocery store? You could go to your local butcher. What's special about these steaks? Oh, they're just so fantastic. Grocery store steaks we won't even buy. We used to, when we were younger, would fatten uh, a steer every year, and it was always a purebred black Angus. So it was always super meat, and the grocery stores just don't have it. But Kansas City, all of their meats are good. They're quality. There's no waste on them. They're just, the flavor's fantastic. We like ours pretty much rare basically my kind almost, of girl <laughs> I love that, that. <laughs> <laughs> well Jan thank you so much for calling it in good news we will have these out to you before Memorial Day so you guys can get grilling make all of your neighbors super envious yeah and jealous I and I like hope I you say, have a happy you summer. know my husband is just going to be so thrilled with these with the bone on too oh good so, so your husband knows the difference right we oh yeah we love all your stuff. Uh, Just, thank you, dear. You know. Well, Jan, thank you so much for calling in. I hope you have a fabulous summer and happy grilling this Memorial Day weekend, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Bye, Jan. Call back and let bye. us know what you think, okay? <laughs> All righty. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so brand new today, here's where we're at. If you want the four, cat, four count for one day only, Fewer than 300 remain. That four count, $99. Can't go out for filet mignon, not even for two people right. for that price. If you want the eight count, fewer than 100 to go around. And that, of course, is going to be 171, but you're getting eight 14 ounce bone in filet mignons. Rick Domeyer, you are salivating over there like I've never seen you before. <laughs> Have you ever seen a filet this big? Here you go, my brother. Uh, I, I've been working with this guy for, for a long time. Long, long time. I've been working with this brand since 1995. Never have you guys brought bone and fillets before. We haven't. So, you know, we're trying to bring. 1995. Oh my gosh, incredible! Is it like the juice from the marble oh that gosh, you get? Dude. Let me tell you. And that bone gives off all that flavor, doesn't it? How many? What, what do I say whenever I work with you? I mean, you open up those. I know exactly what you're gonna say. Send this the gift. to somebody you love. This is the ultimate. You guys already said it. No, nope, I'm gonna say it again. Oh, okay. This is the ultimate dad's gift. Yep. If you have somebody on your list, you don't know what, throw away the tie, the cologne. Father's Day yeah. next month. This bill to ship to, bill comes to you. They get all of these steaks. That's unbelievable. Yep. You know, I love you. What's better than I love you? Kansas City Steaks, bone in, filet, 14 ounces. Good That's door. better than I love you. And you know what I feel like the Great. difference is? Rick, how do you like your steak prepared? I like it medium. I'm a medium rare kind yep. of gal. Okay, I get it. My mother-in-law is well done all the way. Yeah. It was not until I met Kansas City Steaks until we grew out, until we had to char her so well done, I didn't think it was humanly possible to eat. <laughs> Every bite as tender, regardless of if it was medium rare, medium or well done. And that's not something every steak can do. Well, great. Now, I Definitely missed not. something. I, I, I didn't get it all, so I, I was off stage. 
Do you use a, a meat thermometer on this? I do. And I actually, these babies are huge. They're thick. These are thick. These are thick, you're right. And I do recommend, so I want everyone Massive. to, if you don't, that's okay, just be really careful. But we do, you know, anything kind of over an inch, which this is, is about an inch and a half to almost two inches thick, you definitely want to try to use a meat thermometer okay, just to get that accurate temperature. Now, these will, like a lot of meats, oh, will oh, carry oh. over cook. So if you like yours kind of medium rare, like most of us do here, you're going to cook it to about 130 degrees, and then you're going to allow it to cook up that, that last maybe five or 10 degrees degrees to get that medium rare. Oh, but go. you can see, you're going to see the juices coming through every bite. Thanks, Rick. Bye, I hope you enjoyed Rick. That. We'll save you a steak, buddy. And here's Don't one worry I, about dinner. Here's one I love right here. You've heard of steak au poids, right? Yes. So that's kind of the French term. So you kind of peppercorn crust the steak, mm -hmm. and then your sauce, you use kind of a beef gravy or a demi glace, and just, you know, put a little cream in that, too. So don't mind my cup right here, but look at that. Just beautifully glazed. Look how gorgeous. Right over that. We'll that put a little bit on this one, too. Now, as a chef, when we get this home, do you recommend when we thaw it out mm -hmm. to let it get down to room temperature, or does it still need to be a little cool? No, I like cooking mine cool. So I, okay. I take them, um, I season them up right out of the refrigerator. You know, there's two schools of thought, and I just have, I just like having mine out of the fridge. Okay. They'll cook a little faster, but either way, I like having, the meat sort of tends to separate a little bit, I think, if you leave it to room temperature. So just take them right out of your fridge, season them right up with the steak and prime rib seasoning, and you are set. Look at this, here's that apois steak right here. It's got that beautiful glaze. The peppercorns just add so much flavor. You could add the steak and prime rib seasoning and then a little more peppercorns if you wanted to get a little never, cray cray, but that's Never fine. hurt anybody. And you know, what is it about steak, right? When you grill it out on the grill, you all of a sudden have neighbors coming out of the woodwork so you didn't even know you live by. Oh, that's what you right. got cooking over there? What you celebrating? Well, one thing that we all have in common, if you love steak, is we feel like we wait all year to have that one really special steak, whether it's this you know it. the end of the season, the end of the year, that holiday dinner. This is it. This is the best cut of steak you could hope for. And what's different about Kansas City, and remember, they supply a lot of really well-known high-end restaurants all across the country, is you are getting that bone-in 14-ounce filet. Four of them under $100, one day only. Eight of them, $171 to bring home. This is that difference because when you think about the quality, the tenderness, the juiciness, the goof proof idea when it comes to cooking these has all been taken into account because of Kansas City. This is the time that you dial in for Father's Day. This is the time if you want to really wow your guests for Memorial Day, you'll get them home. This is the time if you want to pick up more than one because you know how hard it is to find a good quality cut of meat. This is the day to do it because it took us, Rick Domeyer said he's been hanging out with you since 1995. Yep. It took us at least from then till today to get 14 ounce bone in filet mignons. Right, and you know, people are watching this. Again, you're right, most people have never even seen it, nor did they even know a bone came, oh, but look at that. You talk about the best surf and turf. This is probably a meal for two, of course, okay? So we're talking about 14 ounce filet with one of my Dan, my buddy. Yeah, uh, Dan Brand. the Lobster Man. So that's a great surf and turf too. But if you've never tried a bone-in steak, period, or if you've never tried a bone-in filet, which you probably haven't, give these a try. Really treat yourself. They are absolutely amazing. And hands down, I will, I will go out on a limb and say this. This is probably my top two steaks in our entire collection that we've ever presented at QVC between this one yeah. and our bone-in ribeye. Oh. So they notice they both have that common denominator. Yes. They have that bone in there. because They're both rich in flavor. They give that, that wonderful texture. But you know, the filet mignon really just has that that, that super beautiful tenderness, and if you want it's to impress rich. anybody, and it's, it's rich. It's rich. It is. The flavor profile, the way that it looks, the stance on the plate. Like, you know when you've got a filet. It just looks a little different than everything else. Why not treat yourself? Let's cut into this one. Oh, I, that's fine that by me. That au pois. Merci beaucoup. Yes. All right, here's the deal on our counts. If you want the four count, one day only, $99. Can't go out for filet dinners that way. There are fewer than 100 to go around, and that is it. If you want the eight count, we're last call. Last call and that's it. I cannot encourage you enough with Father's Day, with 4th of July, with getting together with family and friends, sitting around the table, talking, drinking wine, sharing your memories. No better way to do it than with the filet. Definitely, and you know, I'm gonna expand on the Father's Day, because this is, Oh my God. <laughs> if you have not gotten a Father's Day gift for dad, yeah. this is the best gift Hands down, I mean, I'm a dad. Mm -hmm. I don't need anything else. I love to have steaks. I love to have any kind of food as a gift because I know I'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I know I'll love it and I'll use it. So I'm not gonna use another pair of socks. I don't need another shirt. I don't need anything like that. Right. And here you go. Imagine if dad opens up this box. Beautiful, individual, huge steaks. Look, mom and dad, dad will probably share. 
with mom <laughs> could share one of these steaks for you know sure. That's so, a great point. you know, it's, this is just kind of the real hearty meal, guys. Um, I can probably eat one of these. But look, definitely this is a meal for two. But each one of these pull out exactly what you need. Again, the steak and grill guide. This is going to give you the cooking instructions with all the temperatures and different ways to cook this, along with side dishes if you like. Right. So don't worry if you don't think you can cook this. We'll give you the instructions how to do it. And then you can liberally kind of sprinkle on the steak and prime rib seasoning, which is our you know, beautiful proprietary blend that you kind of get 